Welcome to Technical Studies. Knowing to read an isometric drawing of piping is important for engineers, supervisors, and fitters. In this video, I will tell what is actually represented by the symbols and terms shown in this drawing. You can download this drawing. The link is given in the description. Please subscribe, like, and comment. This video is almost the representation of the original piping. This arrow symbol shows the direction of the flow. Let us check the material list, what is item number 9? It is a weld neck flange. The nominal diameter is 250. The class is 150 pounds. FF means flat face. The schedule is standard and is galvanized. Check, item number 3. It is a concentric reducer. The size is, 300 into 250 and is, but welded. The schedule is standard. Item number one is a pipe. The diameter is 300, schedule standard, and is galvanized. The total length of this size pipe required is 1.7 meters. Item number five is 300 NB, 90 degree, long radius, but welded, standard schedule, elbow. The quantity is 2. Let us check, where is the other elbow? It comes, here. We already know, what is item number 1? Check, what is item number 8? Item number 8 is, 300 NB, weld neck, class 150, raise faced, standard schedule flange. The quantity is, 5. You can check, wherever this item comes. Item number 10. 300 NB flange check valve. The rating is 150 and is raise faced. Item number 4. It is a straight, female, 3000 pound, thread outlet. The size is 300 into 25. Item number 2. Schedule 80 pipe. The size is 25 NB. Item number 6. 90 degree, female threaded, class 3000, 25 NB elbow. Item number 12. Twenty five NB, female threaded, glob valve. The class is six hundred pound. Item number seven. Twenty five NB, female threaded cap. The class is three thousand pounds. We have already checked what is item number five and eight. 
Item number 11. It is a 300 NB, flanged, class 150, raised faced butterfly valve. What is, operator N? It means, the handle of the valve will be, on the north side. Another thing is the arrow mark. It shows the direction of the valve. Never neglect this mark. Usually, you will see this direction arrow, on check valves and glob valves. Thank you for watching.